Hello everyone, welcome back to another speed build. So today I have a another build from my Not So Berry Legacy Challenge. So this is for the Peach Generation. And I think this one's actually my favorite. So this was or uh, you can see her over there on the left just out in her underwear because I think I just grabbed her from her old house um, but for some reason I have completely spaced on her name well anyway <laughs> um, I actually saw a build or saw a house that I really liked, and so I based this on that one. Um, it comes in at, well, as you could see at the start, we only had 32,000 simoleons, and I think, I feel like her name might just be Peach or something like that. So this is built in Newcrest, as are as were the other all the other Berry Legacy challenges from like Gen Four or something onwards. Um, but I really liked the house that I based this on when I saw it, um, and decided to take that style into advisement. <laughs> um, and have this really really nice house and it is two bedrooms and three bathrooms there is a bathroom downstairs so the two upstairs bathrooms are in between the two bedrooms there's also an office downstairs that could be used as another bedroom there's also a dining room and you could realistically get rid of that because there is a here I am trying to sort of pillars or columns I guess um, but yeah if you wanted an extra two bedrooms there are two rooms downstairs that you could definitely use for that but I like the um, I like having a dining room I think it's really nice but there is a kitchen island so it's not necessary for you to really have the dining room so I'm just going through adding some windows um, kind of not sure about the placing of the windows and of the columns here I think I actually edit the whole size of the lot because I think or the size of the house because I think it just looks a bit wonky right now so I think gets a little bit more edited in a second um, yeah because those windows the way they, they are spaced out with the columns downstairs don't look, it just doesn't look right so the build I was looking at had these really cute white bricks I know that it's a peach house but the inside is very very peach but the outside it was like really white really clean and very very like modern looking I have to admit, I don't know anything about styles of houses, like there are a lot of Sims YouTubers that I watch and they're like, oh yes, contemporary or like suburban or something and I'm like, in the UK I just feel like all houses are boxes, oh this is why I changed the size because it just doesn't line up properly with the windows and things so I make this room a bit small. And then, oh yeah, and we have the overlapping roofs, which I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like that either, so I think that's why that ends up like that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I feel like in the UK they're just, you know, I could be wrong, or it could just, it could just be that I don't watch, um, or I don't 
<laughs> no um, people with like big fancy houses or whatever, but I just feel like, you know, like I don't think farmhouse is the style that we have and people are like, oh, farmhouse and modern farmhouse and things like that. And I'm like, I don't know what that is, but it's pretty. <laughs> I always feel like if it looks nice and it has some sort of like theme going, then you know, I'm happy. <laughs> um, so I'm still trying to fix this room. I'm not entirely convinced that's fixed, but it looks like I've, I've sort of stopped, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, no, it looks, it looks okay. trying to do the white picket fence because I felt like this was a really like white picket fence. I guess this is like suburban style. Not a clue. <laughs> um, it's pretty anyway. I like it. It's not quite at the pretty stage yet. I feel like there's maybe a little bit of work to go. Oh, I was trying to get the arch that I actually used in my green. There it is. It must be against a fence. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get this green arch, so this peach generation was way before that, so... Uh, yeah, and then it is two wide, and then the door is one wide, and the stairs are one wide. I'm going to have to completely rethink this, so this is when I fix all the windows and the, like, the placement of the windows and the door and things like that, so it's kind of a relief that I, I went for that. Although it's kind of strange that there's a hedge arch, but there's not a hedge, it's just, it's just fencing. It has been a while since I built this, so I may come back with a hedge as well, but I really don't think that I do, so. So now we're on to the interior of the build, and this room I'm drawing here that I do actually end up resizing. Or moving the wall a little, <laughs> probably in a moment or two, I don't think it takes me long, is the office, or the study, however you want to call it, and then we have a uh, bathroom back here. Uh, so I'm not really a half bathroom kind of gal, I'm a, like if I'm putting a bathroom in a house, it's almost always a full bathroom. So I've walled off the kitchen, but it ends up actually being open plan, the kitchen and the living room, but then the dining room is, is not open plan at all. So I have stairs in at the moment, but I end up moving them. And I've just drawn the dining room, but I think I'm sort of like unsure because there's a whole huge space here. And it just seems really off kilter. So I'm trying to figure out the whole plan of everything. So I've placed my stairs downstairs and I think now is when I've, yeah, so I wall off and I make some weird rooms and things up here, but then ultimately I decide against it because this front room here that I just drew, that was the master bedroom and I was trying to maybe make an interesting pattern up here. I'm not sure what was going on. <laughs> um... Yeah, here I was trying to do the half and half bathroom, as I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what I thought I was drawing here, honestly. So now I'm placing some lights. Still trying to not, ha don't have a perfectly clear idea of a floor plan. Here I am drawing in some semblance of an entrance hall. And there we go, I'm sort of 
fixing the the weird bump out part of the study office and yeah I think I think that might be the final downstairs floor plan I'm not entirely sure I don't I don't think that the kid, the dining room remains that big um definitely not the final upstairs floor plan <laughs> I'm sort of looking at it like does this make sense so popping in my well, every creator's favorite subtle saucer lights because they do the best job at lighting everything up and if you're anything like me I don't like to see light fixtures when I'm playing I just feel like if I get anything more than the tiny little um, saucer light that it just is in the way and so I always play I'm placing archways and I actually don't think those are the archways that I go for in the end and as I said I actually get rid of the wall between the living and kitchen area and so the main theme, as I said, the outside is white and I do, I think, white floors inside and then the peach wall, like just the perfect shade of peach, in my opinion. And I think I was maybe going to go for a different color of flooring downstairs, but then I was like, nah, just, just white is fine. Although, wow, I only have 9,000 left. I think so I really like this shade of peach I just thought it was the one that to me seemed to, to be the truest to the actual color peach and for some reason upstairs has skirting boards or whatever you call the little baseboards I think they're called in America upstairs has baseboards but <laughs> downstairs does not and I almost thought about doing the the walls with the like wooden bottoms. I don't know what that's called in British English or American English. <laughs> but I decided against it, thankfully. Um, yeah, because I wasn't a fan. And then we have some more windows on the back of the property. And I can't believe I've spent so much money already. And It's just walls and wallpaper and carpet. There we go. I wondered if I would actually match it. <laughs> right. So, very nice looking house. But now only 8,000 simoleons to furnish it, so... Oh, and then now I'm trying to do the, the pathway decorating outside before I even do anything inside. That's brave. <laughs> See, also stupid, but yeah. <laughs> These are really cute. I thought they went really well with the house anyway, because they have the little white flowers, and I'm just like, it's a white house. You know, not very colourful, so I'll just stay with the not very colourful. And I love these lights from Get Together. I actually said that I'd been using a very different lights and that was what I was mostly using before, but apparently it's not what I was using there. Um, so there's a small skip because, as you can see, um, we're now in winter and I'd built some things and then I could put some things inside. So, um, Peach, I'm sure her name is Peach. Her boyfriend moved in, and so, or her, um, to-be husband. So, he moved in, and there, then we had, uh, 
an extra 20,000 simoleons, so I decided to actually furnish the place better. So we actually have some semblance of an entrance hall. We have the shoe racks. We have a mirror that was ready for when you leave. There's also the seats to go sit on and get your shoes. Sit down on and get your shoes on. And then the little coat rack, and we have these really cute chairs and table that I thought went perfectly with the peach. And then we have, there's a chess table, we have our living area, which ha has orange cushions as opposed to peach, but sometimes you're going to have to go with what's closest. And then we have sort of light counters in the kitchen because... There's not a whole lot of anything else that is even close to peach, which I think it looks nice with those little stools. It's not too much. And then we've got a little pinkish, a pink toilet, and then the pink bath mat in the downstairs bathroom. This is me adding some cupboards now that are up cupboards, top cupboards, now that we have uh, more money. <laughs> and then I was sort of just like, oh, let's. I always feel like I had to have to add the different pieces because otherwise it looks too plain. And also the plates on the bottom look peach. So I was like, And then I was going to add in the tall cabinet, but then I think I decided against it. I can't remember if I keep it or not. It like looks squint, so I don't think that I do keep it. Because it seems to clip weirdly. Oh, maybe I do. I think I'm now looking for some clutter to place on the counters, so I usually go for a fruit bowl and encourage my sims to eat healthily. And then, I think my usuals are definitely the paper towel and the utensils. But in this one I also included the fruit bowl. And then we have this bathroom mirror which I use I think in almost every single build. And there's a nice little pink towel to match couple pink towels, one for the shower, one for the hands. And there's like some makeup things. A little peach uh, bathrobe, uh, some nail polish. I think you get a little plant. I think it's the little bonsai tree that I put on this counter here, if I recall correctly. And I highlighted pink and orange because I feel like peach is a mixture of them both. And so... It can fall into either category. Ah, I went for the little bonsai tree, see? <laughs> and then we have upstairs. I made this one big bedroom. And it looks a whole ton better, I think. So we have the like darker peach, mostly high school years things in the upstairs bedroom, the main bedroom. I like everything of the high school years. I think I end up, I just did a build um, for a reason that I've forgotten. <laughs> um, oh no, what it was, was I just did the upstairs. I'm still working on the Disney Princess Legacy Challenge, but I took a huge break. I just played it for the first time since November. Um, because I was sort of working on editing it and that took a long time and then now I'm, now I'm back to it <laughs> so I built the upstairs and I used this exact um, dresser not the same mirror actually 
but the same bed frame. And I used that bed frame, if you recall, in the green generation video. And I'm pretty sure that this is actually green generation's parents, because I feel like that back bedroom I make slightly green, because I'm sure that green is the next gen after a peach. I may be wrong. I feel like it's the case, but I guess we'll find out. So I found this tub that I think is supposed to be like a... Um, the bathtub is supposed to be like a coppery kind of, like maybe like a rose gold, but I just thought it was like perfect. And then I found, when I was looking for indoor plants, I found these outdoor plants. And then ended up coming outside, and we have sort of just like a small seating area for um, the parents just to, well, it's only the two of them still, but just for them to sit outside and just chill. There, I put a little sofa in this spot, which I thought was really cute. Um, just like wedge that in and there's there was a really cute um, moment between toddler and father just sitting there one day and I was like oh that's so cute didn't get a photo or anything but <laughs> I should have it was very very cute so I put this little lantern on the table I size it down a little because it takes up the whole table otherwise um, we, they have also a telescope, a regular telescope, and yeah, I'm trying to look for an indoor plant to pop on the dresser, the chest of drawers, there we go. Now, oh I'm downstairs I think, showing you the, uh, the office, so I don't end up going with these two bookcases because I realized that with high school years came the cute little, um, these little cubes and they're much cuter and they go because the chair and the desk are from high school years and I just wanted to add like a lot of, um, cluttery items <laughs> and yeah. Oh, I think I was trying to go between, do I want the, the floor ones or no? Um, but yeah, th just go for the regular ones. I thought I really went with the peach colour, but I guess I go for white. Don't want to do too much, I guess. <laughs> so she's got some, like, papers, and it just was, like, filling it with a lot of... I don't have the colour filter on, but I was like putting plants, books, you know, just the regular sorts of things you would find in an office. My office is just full of like pens and books and no plants actually, but I should, I should really get some plants in my office. I've got plants in every other room, I think. Most of my Yeah, lots of boot clutter. Um, oh yeah, I like this little uh, lamp. But then I realised that if she was on like a Zoom call kind of thing, that would be like all of the open shelves would be right in the, the camera. So I pushed it down. And now we're back upstairs. And we have apparently the wrong sink. <laughs> I need to make sure that there's toilet roll for my sim. <laughs> um, I'm holding the alt key to freely move the toilet paper. Um, I think I was trying to go for one of these sinks. I can't remember if I keep it. I guess I did. And there's the same mirror because <laughs> I like the I like the idea of a bathroom cabinet. And I can't think of any other mirrors that actually. Same, uh, same towel as well. As 
the floor as downstairs because it's the peachest towel. I'm trying to get the soap. Now the soap clicks to the sink, so I'd be able to do it now. But yeah, some soap, toothbrushes, and some candles. Just what every bathroom needs. Then I'm building the second one. I put a shower tub and toilet roll, of course. And is it just me that always looks for faces and things? So that sink really, really has a face. And so does the one in the other, in the other bathroom. It really has a face. A surprised face. It's the other one because I see the drain is a, it's like a round mouth. Whereas the other, the sink in this bathroom is like a giant mouth. And when I was trying to put um, the toothbrushes on the sink, but they don't click yet. They will now, but they didn't before. So I'm going for the kids' bedroom now. Um, yeah, I think I start it. I think I do one kid, one. Um, I do it for a kid and for a, a toddler. It's like an adult. I kept trying to say adult. Yeah, so uh, that generation is obviously the green generation, everything. I selected the color green. So Peach actually had two children, two girls. And the eldest was Jade, who lived in that greenhouse that you might have seen on my channel. If not, I'll link it. And... The younger sister was called Sage, so I thought, you know, both green things, so I really liked it. I tried to keep my names, like, in keeping with the, with the theme of the colour. I'm just trying to fit the the books, I think it looks, or the beds, I think it looks wonky mainly because of the window placement. The fact that the um, corner is in that room as opposed to like outside of it. But, and I can't remember if I keep it or not. Oh, there's a cute little butterfly painting. And I didn't realize that you couldn't put paintings behind the doll's house, but apparently you cannot. Apart from if it's a, yeah, see I moved that window. Um, you can put a mural but not like a wall, like because it's on the wall. But you apparently can't hang a painting, which I don't quite understand, but there you go. But anyway, this video is almost done and I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and consider subscribing and I'll see you on the next one.